Here we have two flip phones, the original Motorola StarTac on my left and the AT&T Singular Flex on my right. And even though both of these phones look similar, the Motorola StarTac we judge by how many phone numbers it can hold, whereas the Singular Flex we judge based on how many podcasts you can listen to and how many WhatsApp messages you can send. So while these both look the same, one is a dinosaur, probably from before some of you were even born. <laughs> no, look, I, I'm old, all right, but I'm not this old. This was my mother's original StarTac. My first phone was one of those Nokia bricks. So we'll put this one to the side for now. But the secret sauce to the Singular Flex, not to be confused with the Singular Flip or the Alcatel Flip 3 or the Alcatel Flip <laughs> Four or any of those. This is the singular flex, okay? Completely completely different phone. $29.99, by the way. Target. I got this. It was intended to be an ATT prepaid phone, but if you it's got a SIM, you just put it in. You can put in your postpaid ATT SIM and it works just fine. But the secret sauce for these flip phones today is Kai OS, which is Unlike Android and even iOS that are determining devices based on how much power, you know, more power that they could put into something to get it run, KaiOS seems to work itself to the power of the device. So it doesn't require a whole heck of a lot. And that's why you see it on a lot of these slider phones like Nokia, what we traditionally would call dumb phones after smartphone slabs came out. But they're anything but. And I was super impressed with this device, especially for $30. And the good news is for you AT&T fans out there and those of us who have AT&T, voice over LTE supported. I put one of my postpaid SIMs in this, didn't get a message, didn't get a text, didn't get a warning or anything like that. 4G LTE running perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. I wanna talk about something about the form factor and the actual build of the device. If you had a Flip 3, or a Flip 4, being the Alcatel or like AT&T, however they branded it, you know that the hinge was a, was a failure point for sure. It would crack, it would fail, it would get wobbly side to side, it would jiggle there and there would be all kinds of issues. It would just feel flimsy. What they did here, whether it was intentional or not, at least that's the feel to me, is when you open it, look at how that's, look at how that's shaped, okay? So you have the hinge here and then you have the plastic that molds into each other it kind of uses the back of the device and the phone itself as kind of additional structure, additional frame. So it doesn't flex. It doesn't feel like it's going to break after a few opens and closes. I really happen to like that design change. And I think it's quite nice. It actually leads to a sturdy device. And listen to this close. I mean, that's a solid, that's a solid hinge to start and it looks quite good. So you have the outer display, right? And you could do stuff. You volume up and down on that. You could look at messages and things like that. Volume, you know, mute. Do your profile, I guess you would profiles. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is important. We'll get to that in a moment. Camera that is there. Speaker phone, or speaker rather on there. You've got nice big keypad, which is fantastic. A shortcut for messages. You got your, your typical navigation buttons in a flip phone, but it's anything but typical when we get to the OS. And a nice big number pad, which is great because for input, you are going to be limited to T9 texting but let's talk about what you do get because it's a heck of a lot and it's not a terrible experience either you could see there's a kai os store there's youtube there's maps google maps will run on this device google itself will run google services runs on this device you get web browsing you get google searches and all the rest of it and youtube while it is a little wonky is perfectly functional we'll see if we can get that pulled up here you get a little pointer device you get uh, you know, all these stuff you could kind of scroll down it absolutely works. You could go up top, do a search. It's a second, you know, it's a little slow, but it's not something you do a lot of. But if you need it, it's there. I was doing a search earlier for Steve Delicious Tech. You could go ahead, T9, type it in and have no issue there. And then you hold it sideways and start watching your video. But where this really shines is the ones you're able to download and came preloaded on this one through KaiOS that are actually designed. That was more of a kind of a, a mobile web page type setup apps that are actually designed to run on this phone. The big one, I'll show you right away, which is fantastic for a lot of people, and is something on a phone like this you didn't have functionality for before, is WhatsApp. You go into WhatsApp, you'll see the message tree with my wife here. We'll get it to focus in, but no problems whatsoever. You're able to type, you're able to send stickers, you could see there. 
You're able to go ahead and put T9 typing in there. I see my T9 typing skills. You wait a second. I'm doing it through the viewfinder. We say hi. Send that back. No issues. And it works. And fine. You see the check marks when received and all the rest of it. It works like you just expect it to work on an Android device. On a device that's $29.99. Which is fantastic. The other thing that really surprised me was, I won't show because it'll be all real names, is Facebook. The Facebook experience isn't half bad. Are you going to be able to post a ton of stuff on there? Absolutely not. As my wife texts back. See, there's the, the message notification that you get through uh, WhatsApp. And you, we'll, so we'll talk about the notifications in the lower left-hand screen in a moment. Is it something you're going to want to, like I said, post a bunch on? Absolutely not. Is it something that you could keep up with friends and family and see pictures in full sizes? Absolutely. And it works well. The other one, Twitter, which I will show. We'll go into here. We'll go back down to Twitter, which is Tweet Fit, which is, uh, we'll try to get this. We're struggling with the, with the Zoom and stuff back here, but we'll do Tweet Fit. And the great thing about this is, unlike a lot of devices that you see, smaller devices, you actually get the entire tweet. You get an ad there as well, which you, I think you can remove, but you get the entire tweet as you scroll left to right. So you sc you're hitting right, you scroll right, and you get actual tweets as it goes down your feed and you can refresh and you could do stuff like that and you could actually post as well so to get that kind of functionality on a flip phone is quite nice the other one that, I, that came with that i wasn't able to get working right is reddit so there is a reddit app but i just wasn't able to get it working right but there are games and stuff like that but the other cool part of it is you see that there pod lp it has a podcast, and not only can you put podcasts on here, you can actually get them. You could have searchable podcasts on here to download to your device, as well as a working RSS reader. You could sign up for news stories. If you had a moment, you could go through it. Just the functionality on here is phenomenal. I'm going to give you a tip, though, real quick. It's important. I want the first thing you do so you can make signing in and typing less painful is you go right to settings, Okay, we're going to go to personalization. We're going to go to input methods. You're going to turn off predictive and you're going to turn off next word suggestion. Because if you don't do that, typing in usernames, passwords, real names when you're looking for contacts or searches, web searches are going to be painful because the predictive stuff is all over the place. It's absolutely a mess, so you're not going to want to use that. But if you do those two things and you refresh, you bulk up, you refresh, you're on your T9 typing, it's not bad. I was actually getting out some words per minute when I was texting back and forth. It was really cool. Of course, like the what is a characterization, you know, characteristic of these flip phones from back in the day, battery life will outlive you. You're going to have no problem. The standby is incredible. The talk time is fantastic. You're just going to have no issue whatsoever because it's not powering a 1080p display or even a 720p display or anything like that. It's powering a low-res LCD, which is not a problem because it works perfectly fine. You can put music, MP3s on here. You can put email on here. The call quality is great. Super. What I did actually to use it to test this is I used call forwarding on my iPhone and forwarded it to this number. So I got calls for like a week just on this making calls nobody knew the difference nobody said oh geez what happened i sounded people sounded cool and clear everybody else could hear me just fine so the call call you'd assume call quality on something like this is a major factor for people especially when they're getting it this has so many uses beyond just if you're somebody who wants a really simple phone let's say you're somebody you go out a lot you're going on vacation any number of reasons why for $29.99 that you wouldn't pick one of these up. Are you someone who loses their device a lot? Are you someone who, I don't know, you're, you're, you're going to the beach or something like that. And you don't necessarily want to carry your $1,000 phone onto the beach in shorts, get wet or sand or whatever it is. You have one of these on standby. You pop your SIM in it. Don't miss a beat. You don't even have to miss WhatsApp. You re-verify if you want. you want to get WhatsApp messages during the day. You're not going to miss any Facebook posts. You're not going to miss any Twitter posts. You're not going to miss any calls. And for $29, if something happens to it, you're not out of luck. You're not out of a $1,000 device. And if you're somebody, and I know since we have so many BlackBerry fans on the channel, if you're somebody who is looking for something just simple, makes calls, couple texts, 
can read emails. You're not completely out of touch. You can keep up with family and friends. You can see stuff that's going on. This is a great device. And if you if the choice is between a 50 or 70 or even a $100 Android phone that is slow and laggy and doesn't get the battery life or is just such low quality that you're going to lag through doing everything, this is not a terrible alternative. You might actually have half a shot of enjoying yourself on this phone for $30 more than that phone for $100. And here, we'll go to notices right over here. We'll get to zoom in. Notices right here. You see, you click and you get your notifications. You get Facebook notifications, Facebook messages. You get Twitter notifications all in just a regular, like a notification shade like you would on an Android phone. And let me tell you something. Texting T9 on these big keys was actually great. Big pad, you could use your entire thumb, you rip through it, you got the little shortcut there for messages, the big call and, and, and power buttons, and just an overall. I really enjoyed it. it. Made me miss it made me miss the days of these guys. Because then you got that satisfying nothing beats that. You're done with a phone call? Go ahead and give it one of those, and you're done. Overall, I was impressed. I really liked it. It got the job done. You could do photos, you could send those back and forth. So would you want to send pictures from this? No, but what's great is if someone wants to text you photos, you can get MMS and you can see the photos on your phone. So it's enough functionality that you're not going to feel left out, but it's also not overwhelming where it's a bunch of features you don't need and a bunch of other stuff that you don't need. They've really brought flip phones into this century and it is quite nice that there is still that option available because not a lot of companies making them. Not a lot of companies supporting them. It's just, you know, you're basically down to what the carriers are going to give you at this point, especially now the 3G, a lot of phone, you know, all the mess with AT&T and 3G. Voice over LTE supported. 30 bucks. I think it's on Amazon. Link will be in the description as well. LongIslandWatch.com. Look at that ice blue for summer coming up on the season for it for sure. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve Lish's day.